Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to view and manage your orders in Cordial. So to access your orders, you are going to either click on this order icon up here or click on the view orders option on the welcome page. We're going to go ahead and click on that view orders and that's going to open up the orders tab. So here you can find all of our orders. You can see the date that they were ordered, the buyer email, buyer username, the source, whether it's an Etsy or Shopify or a manual order, the order ID, and the status of your orders. Up here at the top, you can search for a specific order based on uh, email or order ID. You can group all of your items uh, by status. If you're looking for orders with a specific status, you can come over here. Let's say you're searching for all the items that are ready to process. Click on ready to process and that will bring up all of the orders with that status. You can search by a, a specific date or date range by either clicking here, typing in that date or clicking on this little calendar icon right here. And you can search and group by source. So let's say I wanted to find all of my Shopify orders. I can click on that option there and that's going to bring up all of my orders from Shopify. You can also find the create order button up here and I'm going to go ahead and talk about that a little bit later. First we're going to take a look at an order and how to see the order, the details for that specific order. So let's say we find our order here in order to see the details, click on the little arrow here to the left. That's going to open up that order and show you all the information available for that order. So the first thing you're going to see are the items in that order. Items are grouped by listing and then broken out by design within that listing. So I can see there's the listing there and these are all the items that go along with that listing. I can see the status of the each one of those items. I can download specific designs from that order. I can see how many downloads a customer has left. I can edit the amount of downloads that a customer has by clicking on this little pencil icon here, um, either to increase or decrease. Let's say I want to limit the amount of downloads they have. I can come over here, select a new download limit and click save. And now you can see the new download um, downloads that they have left there. I can see when an item expires and how close it is to expiration. I can change that information by clicking on the little clock icon right here. I can pick a specific date for that expiration or I can set it to never expire by clicking on this button here. Click OK and then close. Uh, click OK and that will change the item expires, the date the item expires. I can remove an item, a specific design from the order by clicking on this little trash can item and that's going to remove that design from this specific order. Down here you will find the order options. So in this area I can change the status of all the items in the order. I can for example set it to complete and select the option you want and click change order status. And now you can see all these items have been changed to complete. I can resend the order email. Let's say I can send it to the original email address or let's say a customer has the wrong email address that they when they ordered. I can come in here, type in the new email address, click on the resend order email button and that's going to resend the order email to that uh, new email address. I can also log in as buyer. So if you need to make some changes for a customer or if they're having trouble with something and you want to be able to log in as their as a buyer, you can click this button and you'll be able to access those designs that they have access to as well. Over here to the right, we have the order log. Um, right now there's no content, but this is where you're going to find uh, whether a client was able to log in, um, what device they were using, if they were able to download or not. So this is where you're going to come to get that kind of information is in the order log section. So let's say you want to um, add an, a design to an order that maybe wasn't in the original order. So you're going to come up here to the add listings to the order button. Click on that button and that's going to open up 
the add listings to the order box. And here I can either select an item from the dropdown or type, type in and search for one. Let's say I'm going to add this item right here. Click on add item. And now I'm going to have the ability to select um, to either send all the designs in that listing or to add all the designs in that listing to this order or to sp select specific items. Let's say I don't need to send them their instructions or this sign. I just want to send them this demo tag. So I'm going to uncheck these items, click on save. And now you can come down and see that that item has been that item has been added to this order. So when the customer logs in, they're going to have access to this design as well as the original items that were in the order. So that's the item details overview. Well, let's say you need to send a manual order, create a manual order. Come up here and we're going to come back to that create new order option. So click on that order option, enter in the customer email. You can opt to send that email to the customer. And once again, you're going to select the listing that you want to send. So say I want to narrow it down. I'm going to select this option right here. Um, I click add item. Again, I can choose to either send all of the designs in that listing, or let's say they only want the digital option for this order. I'll deselect these items and I'm only going to be sending these items and click save. So now if we come, we can see there is our manual order right here. And there's the items that we have sent our customer. So that's how you're going to create a new order, send a manual order. So hopefully this was helpful to you um, so that you can be able to better manage and view all of your orders here in Cordial.